Hello and welcome to another video by Day Night Gaming. Now this is part 8 in the ongoing series in which I'll be showcasing as well as discussing my thoughts and views on the conversation route for Female Light Sided Sith Warrior. This section is a bit slow but it foreshadows some things to come. It lays the groundwork for letting you know what's going on with the information network that's set up between the Republic and the Empire and you get to see between the two how they interact with each other. Well, uh, without further ado, here are the videos. Enjoy! I must be honest. Your success at the Satellite Control Station and Republic Crater Outpost has surprised me, my lord. I computed the likelihood of success as nearly negligible. In my assessment, however, I only considered the capabilities of a typical Sith. Clearly, you are not a typical Sith. I will adjust future calibrations to account for your unprecedented abilities. If anything, you should overestimate my capabilities. If you don't mind, I am going to attempt to be as accurate as possible. Lord Barris is pleased. He says it's time to zero in on your prime directive, and he awaits your contact. My barracks are yours. Activate the hollow communicator in the next room to speak with Lord Barris. The line is secure. Don't wander off. I'll be right here if needed, my lord. I hope you can see the smile on my face, apprentice. You are turning me into a true believer. Wait a minute, let me pinch myself. I'm sure you're impatient to complete your time on that little rock. With the satellite tower computer destroyed and Commander Rylon's son neutralized, my spy's tracks are covered. Now the only threat to Rylon ever being exposed is the man himself. It's time to end that threat. Permanently. Do I have a choice in the matter? I like that idleness makes you disagreeable. Just be sure to give Commander Rylon an honorable death. It's the least we can do. I've had him embedded within enemy ranks for decades. The extent of his contribution to the Empire's interests is unrivaled. A man is a hero. Pity he has to die. He has always known the risk. The Jedi investigator must have no hard evidence that Rylon was killed to silence him. It must look like anything but a targeted execution. Annihilate everyone there. Sounds like overkill to me. Your objection is noted. The order remains. I've summoned Lieutenant Quinn. He'll prepare you for your final task. Your final target is the Balmoran Arms Factory. The Resistance forces recently captured it and made it their headquarters. An incursion into the Arms Factory will be a monumental feat. I'm excited by the prospect of you laying waste to that place. Just spit out the details, Imperial. Try to contain yourself. Yes, my lord. I will not stray from the facts again. All right. The Republic Command Center is deep inside the arms factory, the most heavily protected installation on the planet. In order to reach Commander Rylon, you will have to make your way past all of the factory's defenses, which are considerable. Makes no difference to me. I'm hard-pressed not to agree. But there is one thing you should note. Specifically, Rylon's elite squadron is responsible for some of the most precise, improbable resistance victories on Balmora. They're legendary. Sounds like you admire them, Lieutenant. I've marveled at their tactical exploits, that's all. It will be a bright day on Balmora when they are eliminated. One final thing. The investigator that the Jedi sent has been concentrating her activity around the arms factory. I have her under minute-by-minute -minute surveillance. If she becomes a problem, I'll contact you on your comlink. Sounds like a plan. I'm on top of it. I will be here to salute you when the Balmoran Arms Factory is a smoking husk, my lord. The factory is under attack. Headquarters has been breached and casualties are severe. Keep your wits, Captain. What do we know of the enemy? Target is carving a bloody path in this direction. Unconfirmed reports suggest it's Sith. Mm. Consider them confirmed.
Commander, contact confirmed. The enemy is Sith. Repeat, the enemy is... I can see that, Captain. Shut up. I know why you're here. Be aware that these are the finest troops I've commanded in all my decades of duty. Consider me warned. Captain Elgin, engage at will and hold the line. I'm coming with reinforcements. Right on out. You're about to find out what we're made of. Your commander will be too late. We've killed Sith before. I'm sure he'll understand if we've already left to celebrate. You're not very funny. I'll have time to laugh later. Men, attack! Commander, he should have been here by now. Your commander is an Imperial spy. No. You lie. Please, it can't be. Must you rub it in, Sith? Would you like to rub it in? No. Tell me what the Sith says isn't true. I'm sorry, Captain Elgin. All these years, I've been a loyal soldier of the Empire. No. I... can't believe... It's unfortunate they were on the wrong side. They were excellent soldiers and exceptional men. I've never fought a tougher fight. This is a bittersweet day. I serve for the glory of the Empire, but the life of a spy is a slippery one. In essence, I had to become a Republic soldier, and I've done things against the Empire that have sickened me. But for the greater good, Commander. I have lived believing, hoping that was the case, my friend. Today was inevitable. I knew Lord Barris would eventually have to eliminate me, but I'm proud to have been of service all this time. I'm honored to be the one to kill you. Before I embrace my end, there is one thing I must know. My son. He was the only thing in the world that was truly mine. And in love or weakness, I told him my secrets. I, I know you had to cover my tracks, but please tell me, did he face his fate well? His chin was held high, Commander. Then I can die with a smile. When they find my corpse, there must be evidence of a valiant fight. We must make this look convincing, Sith. So I will not hold back. I will fight you as though you are my mortal enemy. It will give me no pleasure to cut you down. Our duty is often difficult, friend. Tell Lord Barris it has been my great honor to serve him. My lord, I believe we've got trouble. I heard your entire conversation with Commander Rylorn. What from my conversation makes you think we have trouble? I told you that I've had the Jedi Investigator surveilled and that she's been snooping around the arms factory. Apparently she bugged Rylorn's quarters. And as she listened in on your conversation, I heard what she heard. The Investigator knows everything, my lord. Where is she now? She was heading to her ship. But I had my men move in and cut her off from the Republic landing bay. I am systematically blocking her avenues of transmission and escape. Herding that Republic scum to her only hope. The spaceport at Sobrik. I will be there soon. I'm afraid there's more, my lord. My men who engaged her report that she's wielding a lightsaber. 
It seems this investigator is a Jedi Knight. I advise caution when facing her. Being careful is what got us into this mess. I see your point, my lord. I will gather my remaining men and meet you at the spaceport. We will crush this Jedi. Ah. You're too late, Sith. I already transmitted the conversation between you and Commander Rylon to the Jedi Council. Noman Carr has his proof. Now Master Carr and his Padawan will track down and expose every Sith agent in the galaxy. I'll let you enjoy your delusions. Enjoyment is not part of the equation. I have purity of purpose. I seek neither thrills nor satisfaction. Unlike you, I am calm. You know nothing about me. I know that by the shortcuts you have taken, your strength is thin. The dark side shall fail you, Sith. Save yourself, surrender, and the Jedi Council will give you every opportunity to discover redemption. I offer you the chance to surrender and live, Jedi. Surrender is not possible. I am in the right. I won't kill you, Sith, but I am leaving. So, I'm going to have to incapacitate you. Your victory means nothing. The damage has been done. The proof has been transmitted. So deal the death blow, Sith. I am at peace, knowing that the greater good has been served. I hate to burst your bubble, Jedi. No, that's a lie. I'm reveling in it. I intercepted your transmission. The Jedi know nothing. Your failure is complete. How do you feel now? Gloat all you like. It means nothing. I remain at peace. And Noman Kar and his Padawan will still defeat you. Tell me the name of Noman Kar's Padawan. I will never betray her identity. I am resigned. Strike me down. I offer no further resistance. You are subdued. There's no sense in destroying you. I will take the wounded Jedi into custody, my lord. Your lightsaber, if you will, Jedi. Men, escort her to her new home in the main prison. I'm sure you know what you're doing, my lord, but sparing the Jedi is a curious choice. A Jedi investigator will be a wealth of information. Of course, my lord. What matters is the threat has been averted. Lord Barris will be anxious to learn what became of this. When you're ready, I'll contact him from my office. I'm anxious to get off this planet. Excellent. I'll go prepare. I'll be waiting in my barracks. It's not my place, Lord Barris. I leave that for your apprentice to convey. Then step aside, Lieutenant. My apprentice has arrived. Nice of you to join us. Quinn refuses to update me, insisting the privilege be yours. I assume the Jedi Investigator has been stopped. I handled it. Your doubts and worries are becoming intolerable. Considering recent developments, yes, I had much concern. I had hoped to avoid confronting the Jedi, but our hand was forced. What matters most is that Rylon can no longer be exposed. And how would you assess Lieutenant Quinn's contribution? He did his part. Lieutenant, my apprentice's demeanor notwithstanding, I have been impressed with your efforts. You have more than made up what is owed to me. I'm putting you up for a captaincy and transmitting an executive order allowing you to station wherever you choose. You are dismissed. Thank you, Lord Barris. If my actions benefit the Empire, they benefit me. I would have done the same regardless of our past. My Lord, before I depart, it's been my extreme honor to serve you. You are the epitome of everything the Empire stands for. 
The honor has been mine, Captain. Until we meet again, I salute you, my lord. He will have his hands full. There are powerful Imperials dedicated to keeping him down. But if Quinn can overcome them and rise to the station he deserves, there is great hope for our Imperial allies. Can we get on with our business? You are quite right, Apprentice. Quinn's fate is of small consequence compared to our affairs. Your presence on Balmora is no longer needed. Return to your ship when you're ready to leave. I'll contact you there. So, we're leaving, right? On to our next exercise in domination and destruction? I only dominate and destroy as a last resort. Yeah, right. You must have a short list of resorts then. Well, I hope the next place we end up has a beach. My lord, I hope you don't find my appearance here obtrusive. I beg an audience. Begging does not become an officer. Pardon my word choice, my lord. I will speak plainly. As you know, Lord Barris enabled my reassignment anywhere I choose. It is an evolution I've longed for and assumed would never come. Aiding your mission on this planet has reawakened the ambition I began my career with to make the most profound impact possible for the Empire. Welcome back to life, Quinn. That is how it feels, my lord. I cannot think of a more glorious and honorable way to make a difference in the galaxy than to serve you. I'm here to pledge myself to you. I'm ready and willing to serve in whatever capacity you see fit. What exactly can you do, Captain? Who cares what he can do? I could use some help around here. There are some things only you can do for me, Vet. My lord, if given the chance, I know I will prove myself to you. I'm a top-notch pilot, military strategist, and a deadly shot. I can fly this ship, plan your battles, assess your enemies, and kill them. You won't find a more tireless and loyal subject. I offer my military prowess and dedicate every ounce of my strength to your cause. I would be pleased to have you, Quinn. The pleasure will be mine. Thank you, my lord. I will submit my reassignment papers as we depart. Apprentice, I see you are ready to put Balmora behind you. Good. The elimination of Commander Rylon grants security to my spy network, but there is still more to be done. It's always work, work, work with you. When all this is over, there will be time to relax. Now, before I unleash you on Noman Carr and his Padawan, you must eliminate my spy on Nar Shaddaa. Head there immediately. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider smashing that thumbs up button. Uh, hit that subscribe and ring that bell uh, for notifications on future videos that I might be posting. And until next time, take care. Goodbye.